In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even... You really well, of the British press said that. Right. I, did, did Meghan ever mention that they were racist? She said there were troubling comments about... Yeah, oh, there, there was skin concern color. about his skin colour. Right. Wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist? I wouldn't, not having lived within that family. I love my father, I love my brother, I love my family. I always, always do. Nothing of what I've done in this book or otherwise has ever been to, uh, any intention to harm them or hurt them. And after many, many years of lies being told about me and my, my family, um, there comes a point where, you know, again, going back to the relationship between um, certain members of the family and the tabloid press, those certain members have decided to get into bed with the devil, right? Mm. Uh, to rehabilitate to, to rehabilitate their image. Yeah. If you need to do that, or you want to do that, or you choose to do that, well, that is a choice. That's up to you. But the moment that that rehabilitation comes at the detriment of others, me, other members of my family, then that's where I draw the line. I don't think they were ever expecting me to get or to, become, uh, to get into a relationship with, with uh, someone like Megan, who had, you know, a very successful career. There was a lot of stereotyping that was happening that I was guilty of as well at the beginning. Um, what do you mean by that? American actress, right? Um, and that was playing out in the British press, in the media at the time as well. So, you know, the fact that I had that in the back of my mind and some of the things that my brother and sister-in-law, some of the way that they were acting or behaving, definitely felt to me as though, unfortunately, that stereotyping was causing a bit of a barrier. Just a quick word on what Prince Harry uh, had to say last night, because um, his hypocrisy is the thing that mostly shouts loudest to me after that one hour and 40 minute interview. Uh, first of all, we knew he was a hypocrite because of all the virtue signaling on the green nonsense, the whole barefoot in the sand speeches about saving the planet as he gets a private jet to play in a polo match, for goodness sake. But the hypocrisy on privacy was even more extraordinary. Uh, this was a man who says that the press, the horrible tabloid media, invaded his privacy. And yet there he was, invading the privacy of his brother and his father and his sister-in-law, revealing the most private and personal and intimate conversations at home, at his grandfather's and his grandmother's funeral, anything, anything and everything was available to be sold to the highest bidder to sell his book, uh, sell his, uh, his interviews. Uh, he's also a complete hypocrite when it comes to racism. He said that the royal family allowed horrible stories to go out about Meghan and to stand there in the public eye without retracting them. They did nothing to protect his wife and that there he was on the Oprah Winfrey show sitting by his wife Meghan when she let's face it, openly called his family racist, claiming that there were troubling comments made about what the colour of his unborn child's skin would be, would look like. And yet he was happy to leave that sitting there for the last year plus as people accused the royal family of being racist. Prince William asked directly, are you a racist family? And now in this interview, Prince Harry says, I don't think the royal family's racist. And we never said we thought they were. Yeah, Harry, you really, really did. So what a surprise. He's a hypocrite on green stuff. He's a hypocrite on priv privacy. And he's a hypocrite when it comes to race as well. What a surprise. Prince Harry, what a terrible, terrible disappointment you've been to this country.